Hi everyone and welcome to the tutorial on radio profile lines with craters. So we had a user request asking us to create radio profile lines on craters and this tutorial is going to go over how to create that. So you want to pick out a crater. I've already done that for the purpose of this video and I've reprojected over the crater so that it's symmetrical. The next thing you want to do is add the crater counting layer. You can either press the plus button or the shortcut button to get there but just add the crater counting. And you'll see that there's a big outline on my screen. If I move my scroll wheel, I can adjust that a little bit and I can almost get the entirety of the crater with this outline. But just to make it more precise, I'm gonna hold down the shift button and move my scroll wheel again. And that way it will move it by one instead of 10. And the default color is black but I'm gonna change that. So you hold down control and do your scroll wheel again, and that will change the color of your crater. Now you wanna select the crater you just created by right clicking the screen and going to select mode. Click the crater to make sure it's outlined and selected. Then you're gonna double click your crater counting layer and we're going to adjust the size of this window so we can see the whole screen. And you're going to go to the Crater tab. And you want to make sure your crater is selected. Then at the bottom of that tab, you'll see Open Profile Viewer. And you click that. And you'll see that it automatically defaults to creating six profile lines. But you can change that. So we're going to make it 12. Now, say you want to make your line a little bit longer. You can do that also. So you see it now, it goes fully over my crater rim. And if you notice, these lines are a little bit choppy. That's because the elevation source we're using is MOLA and it's a little bit more coarse. So we're going to go to numeric sources and change it to something with a higher resolution. So we're going to go HRSC. Press OK, and you'll see the lines are a lot smoother now. And if you put your mouse over the line, you can see the values change. If you right click your profile chart, you can get additional parameters to change. So properties changes the title and the range and the tick marks. So you can click on plot and you can see that you can change the axes and the appearance a little bit more. You can also right click the screen and save as a CSV or print it or save as ping. So a neat thing to do with this feature is to add the 3D view. So we're going to do that. And we're going to go into that layer so that we can change the numeric source to HRSC like we're using for the other source. And we're also going to change our exaggeration and we're going to say update scene and now you can see the crater lines in the crater 